Attention on deck. Please rise for our invocation. graduating class. Thank you for the new insights and wisdom they have gained. Thank you for their knowledgeable instructors, committed SLPOs, and their dedicated A school staff. And thank you for the love and support of their family and friends. God, help them now to feel the true measure of their accomplishment and know that it was worth it. May today be a memory that burns bright within them. Strengthen them and bless them now. This is our prayer. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. Good morning, Mayor Dahlgren, chaplain, staff, family and friends, and of course, graduates. Welcome to the graduation ceremony for Electricity Lake Blast 2318, Mike. Today is a special day for these sailors with the marks of completion of long weeks of hard work. I am pleased that we are here to recognize the efforts and achievements of these young men and women. Today's guest speaker is from Lafayette, Louisiana, and joined the Navy in July 2014. After completing recruit training in Great Lakes, Illinois, he attended Newport Field A School, Power School, and then prototype here in Charleston, South Carolina. Upon completing training, he was stationed aboard the USS Henry M. Jackson, a nuclear-powered ballistic missile submarine stationed in Bangor, Washington. During his time on board, he supported seven patrols, multiple operational reactor safeguards examinations, and a 14-month extended maintenance availability period. At three years on board, he was made the ship's marksmanship instructor, certifying over 400 other sailors in the use of multiple firearms, helping maintain security for ships across the Pacific Northwest. In August of 2020, he reported here to Naval Nuclear <coughs> Power Training Command where he was assigned as an instructor in mechanical equipment, where to date he has taught 12 classes. It is my pleasure to introduce Machinist Mate Nuclear First Class Submarines Qualified, James Hobbs. Commander Dahlgren, chaplain, staff, family and friends, and graduates. I'd like to start off by repeating some words that you as participants in this program hopefully already know. We as the Naval Nuclear Power Propulsion Community have an unmatched record of safety, reliability, and sustained operational readiness. We have achieved and we sustain this record by ensuring that our reactor plants and our engine rooms are staffed around the clock every day of every year in Port and at sea with the most competent and most trustworthy operators that we can hope to supply them. All of you, as graduates of your respect respective A schools, can take pride in having completed the first leg of your journey on your way to joining this elite crowd. If you find the journey difficult at times, know that it was intended to be. We do not strive to make this training simple, to make it easy because we need people that are capable of overcoming extreme obstacles. People that are able to face trials head on. People like you. Know that by completing this school, you have begun to cement a reputation as someone that we can, re that we can rely upon to get the job done and to keep the fleet moving. To the families of these graduates, you know they have made it through arduous times, long days, difficult exams, and difficult instructors to make it to where they are today. Be proud of what they have and know that they are well on their way to achieving more. Graduates, as you advance in your careers, as you move to positions of greater leadership and technical ability, remember that finally that, that no matter the task, it is who you are and what you believe yourself capable of which marks the line between failure and success. I think no words better encapsulate, encapsulate the message than those of Admiral Hyman G. Rickover. What it takes to do a job will not be learned from management courses. It is principally a matter of experience, the proper attitude, and common sense, none of which can be taught in a classroom. Human experience shows that people, not organizations or management, systems, 
get things done. Military members, attention. Graduating students, I will now frock you to the rank of third class petty officer. To all who shall see these presents, greetings. Greetings! Know ye that by the authority vested in me and reposing special trust and confidence in the patriotism, valor, fidelity, and abilities of these sailors, I do hereby appoint you to the rank of third class petty officer in the United States Navy, as such from the 30th day of June, 2023. Your appointment as petty officer in the United States Navy makes you heir to a long and proud tra tradition of naval leadership. By accepting this appointment, you are charged with demonstrating those standards of performance, moral courage, and dedication to the Navy and the nation, with which you will serve as an example to your fellow Navy men and women. Your desire to excel and to guide others must be boundless. Your appearance must be a model for others, and your performance must be continual reflection of your sincerity, attention to duty, and moral responsibility. By exhibiting unfailing trust and obedience towards superiors, cooperation and loyalty to your peers, understanding and strength to your subordinates, you will contribute greatly to the effectiveness and good name of the United States Navy. Families and friends, please join me in a round of applause for the Navy's newest third class petty officer. stands out from the rest as evidenced by having the highest grade point average among their classmates. The instructors, advisors, and classmates recognize this sailor for their achievements in the classroom, and we call him our honor graduate. Today's honor graduate is Electrician's Main Nuclear, third class, Riley Ballard C. Honor graduate, front and center. Graduate Award will be presented by Commander Dahlgren and Senior Chief Cameron Williams. Military personnel, attention to honor. <coughs> From Commanding Officer, Naval Nuclear Power Training Command 2, Electricity Mate 3rd Class, Riley Ballard C. Congratulations for achieving the highest grade point average among all graduates from your class at Nuclear Field A School, Charleston. Your standing reflects your personal motivation, academic excellence, and dedication to duty. And your outstanding performance serves a superb example to your shipmates and is in keeping with the highest traditions of the United States Naval Service. Signed, J.D. Anderson, Captain, United States Navy. Section leading petty officer for electrician's mate class 2318 Mike. Electrician's mate nuclear first class, submarines qualified, Swanson. Thank you, Petty Officer Wagner, for the introduction. Good morning, friends, families, chaplain, Commander Dahlgren, and last but not least, graduates. Looking out today, it's great to see so many friends and families here today to celebrate the graduates. I also know that there are many friends and families that weren't able to make it today. Know that it's your support that drives them to succeed each day in the classroom. I ask that you help continue that support as they go on to finish this training pipeline and even further into the fleet. Operating in waters around the world, these support networks will be vital in allowing these sailors to operate in one of the most difficult fields in the armed forces. I know that these last six months have felt long, and I know that this next year of training may seem longer but it won't be too long before you'll be operating a reactor of an aircraft carrier producing power for the largest ships in the Navy to be wherever, whenever the country demands it. Or keeping the lights on in the dark of the deep as you carry out missions vital national security off of shores unknown. I'm proud of what you've accomplished so far, and I know you will continue to develop into amazing sailors. I'm excited for the day you relieve the watch. Now presenting Class 2318 Mike. Left. Face! Electrician's mate, nuclear, third class, J. Ariana. <laughs> Electrician's 
Mate, Nuclear, Third Class, Mitchell Coleman. <laughs> Electrician's Mate, Nuclear, Third Class, Alejandro Collin. <laughs> Electrician's Mate, Nuclear, Third Class, Kieran Cosgrove. Electrician's Mate, Nuclear, Third Class, Jaden Entermeyer. <laughs> Electrician's Mate, Nuclear, Third Class, Giovanni Garcia. <laughs> Electrician's Mate, Nuclear, Third Class, Safwan Hazari. Electrician's Mate, Nuclear Third Class, Athen Mack. <laughs> Electrician's Mate, Nuclear Fireman, Heather McAllister. Yes, Electrician's Mate, Nuclear Third Class, Nicola Sanchez. Electrician's Mate, Nuclear, Third Class, Umar Sanchez. <laughs> Electrician's Mate, Nuclear, Third Class, Brody Schaefer. <laughs> Electrician's Mate, Nuclear, Third Class, Andrew Shear. Mate, nuclear third class, Connor Wheeler. <laughs> Electrician's mate, nuclear third class, Jonah Williams. <laughs> the following sailors are graduating with distinction. Electrician's mate, nuclear third class, Sonnet Gray. Electrician's Mate, Nuclear, Third Class, Brady Kelly. <laughs> Electrician's Mate, Nuclear, Third Class, Dylan Rometeer. <laughs> Electrician's <laughs> Mate, Nuclear, Third Class, Brianna Sarabia. Electrician's Mate, Nuclear Third Class, Riley Stillen. <laughs> Electrician's Mate, Nuclear Third Class, James Van Busker. <laughs> Electrician's Mate, Nuclear Third Class, Zachary Banks. Following sailors are graduating with honors. Electrician's Mate, Nuclear Third Class, Riley Ballard Say. <laughs> Electrician's Mate, Nuclear Third Class, Nathan Whitty. Each of these sailors exerted a great deal of personal drive, overcame <coughs> obstacles, and made individual sacrifices to be here. Still, there is one that, by the manner in which they have completed this training, has inspired others. What sets this sailor, aside from their peers, is the consistency in their efforts, their refusal to quit, and the examples that they have set. They demonstrate the qualities most, most treasured in the Navy, those of honor, courage, and commitment. And this sailor is the recipient of the Commanding Officer's Personal Excellence Award. Today's recipient is, when I call your name, please stand and remain standing. Electricians make nuclear, third class, Sonic Gray.
Personal Excellence Award was presented by Commander Dahlgren and Senior Chief Cameron Winters. Military personnel, attention to arms. From Commanding Officer Naval Nuclear Power Training Plan 2, Electrician Mate, 3rd Class, Sonic Gray. The Commanding Officer's Personal Excellence Award is awarded to the student in each class who has exhibited the greatest degree of professionalism. This student stands apart by virtue of hard work, personal dedication, and a demonstrated desire to succeed. Your dedication to duty, exceptional academic efforts, and perseverance in the face of adversity have made you an outstanding example to your classmates and warrants your selection today as a recipient of the Commanding Officer's Personal Excellence Award. Congratulations, signed J.D. Anderson, Captain, United States Navy. achievement uh, these young sailors have, uh, have made uh, so far in their early naval careers. So I spoke to them yesterday, uh, making third class petty officer in, in six months in the Navy or in the military is, is very unusual, it's kind of unique to our program. It's a lot of responsibility and they have all lived up to that and have earned uh, their new titles and their new rates. For my staff back there who helped them uh, achieve it, thank you very much for your long work, hard, uh, hard hours, and dedication. Uh, definitely is reflected in the success of, of your uh, awards here, and uh, we're excited to see what uh, they can do with our staff over at Newport Power School. For the families, thank you for making the trip out here. It's always great to see you and uh, see the interactions between you and your sailors. It definitely can see the support that you've sent all throughout their time here to help them get through the, the long hours and hard work, right? Many hours in the classroom, getting lectured to, and then many more hours after school, uh, sometimes three, four, five hours in the evenings and on the weekends each day studying to get through this program. And there's more to come, as we talked about yesterday, right? So they're going to need your continued support and understanding to help get through that. These sailors are resilient, and you are part of that that process that gives them that resiliency to overcome challenges and to exceed. Okay. Again, congratulations, everybody. Uh, very excited for you to go out on leave, have a good time, recharge those batteries, and be ready to hit it hard at Newport Power School. And I look forward to seeing you all at your Newport Power School graduation. Move on to the next phase in your nuclear pipeline training. Thank you. concludes today's graduation ceremony. Graduates, congratulations, and well done. Military personnel, carry on.